Amanda Neufeld's daughter will be turning two soon, but when she was eight weeks old, doctors gave this mission family multiple possible reasons why their baby wouldn't stop crying. I was picking her up and I felt a crack in her back and um, she would cry. In May 2021, x-rays showed the baby had a broken collarbone. Neufeld says she believes one of the doctors filed a report and Child Protective Services started what she calls a traumatizing investigation. You know, he was saying that it would only happen by blunt force trauma or fall. Like, there's no other way that it could happen. And she says CPS put her kids under 24-7 supervision for two months. If I wanted to go for a walk with my son or take my daughter out for a stroll around the, around the block, I couldn't go with them alone. But the Ministry of Children and Family Development put the investigation to bed after doctors diagnosed the baby with a rare illness. She lives with a condition called osteogenesis imperfecta, or brittle bone syndrome, and her bones break easily. Our daughter now has this disease, so that's not great, and obviously no one wants their child sick. Um, but then it also kind of gave us this, you know, this, hey, we're not abusing our child, which I was saying the whole time. Lawyer Kit Perrick says he has a client in a very similar situation waiting for their child's possible brittle bone diagnosis while also under investigation by CPS. If it's child abuse and they don't have a voice, sure, there has to be some some guardrail for the the investigating social worker to stand behind to have, you know, clear access. But on the other hand, it, it's more than a, just an inconvenience to people to be living under the stigma of being labeled as an abuser. In a statement, the ministry tells City News anyone who believes a child needs protection has a duty to report their concern and can do so confidentially. Neufeld says her daughter is going to live a normal life since her bone condition is mild compared to some other cases. A year and a half after the investigation, Neufeld says she wishes that the pediatricians and other doctors who were part of it had treated her and her husband better. You can still do your job and, and be friendly and not show your judgments or what you're thinking. In Mission, Kier Junos, City News. This story came to us from a City News viewer. If you have a story idea you'd like to share, get in touch by email, give us a call, fill out the contact us form on our website or send us a message on Twitter and we'll look into it.